friends, it is me, HL Mod Tech, and this is the loop. It is a totally free project. I've given it to you in Tinkercad. When you first launch the version I give you, the loop does not finish. Friends, I've been practicing. Check this out. We have got one full loop. Here we go. All right, friends, so this is SimLab, and there you are, a full loop and probably a half a loop. Now, just for fun, let's reset it and hit play again from a different angle. There you go. You can back up and double check these and just keep testing to see if it works the way you thought it was. How cool is that? It's so fun to be able to change the orientation and see just how it is going through the track. Of course, now that we've had success with one loop, I want to get two. Friends, just a quick reminder, this is my website, hlmodtech.com. I've got the page dedicated to Tinkercad with all the amazing categories built for beginner lessons. And then just below that, you can find the HL Mod Tech profile. Now, when you land on the profile, you'll see all of my projects sorted by likes. Don't forget, if you click them, there is almost always a tutorial so that you can learn whatever I was sharing. Also, though, if you sort by recent or trending, you'll be able to find my latest projects, including the awesome SimLab Challenge. Friends, when you hit copy and tinker, you'll be starting at the exact same place I was, and maybe you can be the first one to make it do two loops. Just remember, when you launch it, the tiny ball is up there. If you select it, you can do F to fit view. You could adjust its steps. I also recommend doing the 0.1 shift nudge and adjust it to find the exact size that you think is going to work once i go back to home you can see that we've got the loop and it was already aimed although you may need to nudge it there are notes here that explain everything just a little bit more and then finally you go to the sim lab and friends when you hit play you're of course trying to get a full loop like I just did there. Now don't forget if you hit pause so spacebar stops this you can back up and watch it all happen in real time which is pretty darn awesome. You can also click up here on share and you can make a video in whichever style you want. I'm gonna go 9 by 16 I'm gonna do shift right click to move it to the exact spot I want and then when you hit create video it saves that video so that you can show the world what you just did. How cool is that? Friends, once again, I have no clue what the smartest choices are for all of this. All I knew was how to make a loop, how to get into SimLab, and then you can start clicking on materials. You can see right now I'm using plastic. If we zoom out and track down the ball, you can see that right now, it is set as ice. I do not know the smartest choices. I'm just exploring, having fun, and seeing if I can get through all the loops. Hopefully, friends, since I have solved the first loop, you can come up with the correct materials to get it through the entire loop system. Finally, friends, of course, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, friends, you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.